from Prince Shining Armor. Duncan and his friends were done with the second mode. Twilight came up to them. She was wearing a crown. My brother's visiting this railway, she said. You're to show him things he hasn't seen. I'm his tour guide. But Duncan was sneaking away. He remembered that Luke was inviting him to Dunnabish Sports Wars for some secret work. They were to work in a quarry on the other side of the hills at the finish. Is it my day off, Twilight? Yes, it is, Duncan. No work for you. Duncan, while Twilight walked off to meet her brother-in-law, whispered to Peter Sam, telling him where he was working, and then crept away. Hello, Duncan, said Luke. Ready to work in the quarry? Yes, I am, said Duncan. Look, Prince Shining Armor is visiting the Duncanfish Railway, and we're to not let him notice us in here. We're taking the dirt to the seaside called Cunningham. As a hiding place, Apple Boom and her friends created a secret camp house. They don't want to get caught by Twilight either. The windmill job is finished. Let's hope our secret work is a success. They began working the quarry, took out the dirt, and went on the journey to Cunningham. They were looking forward to seeing the finished cubby house. Come on, Luke. Wait up, Duncan. I'm not as fast as you. At last, they arrived in Cunningham Seaside. Good, you two, said Apple Poom. Just the thing for house. We like to make a garden. Prince Shining Arm and Twilight were visiting the Tree Mountain Railway. The place was interesting for him to see. He hasn't visited a new location like this for years. That's our house, Shining Armour. What do you think of it? It's lovely, Twilight. There's even a shed for narrow gauge engines and your car you're driving. Yeah. <laughs> I had her for years. Hello, natures. Hello, sunshine. 
fancy seeing you here. Shining armor. Same to you. Welcome. Duncan and Luke, meanwhile, are resting in the woods. With the late Apple Boom Scotchano and Sweet Bell and Spike were swimming. Isn't this lovely? Nothing like a good open air in the woods. Yeah, Duncan. It's a lovely day of doing work and being by the sea. In fact, I think we should make a secret station. The clubhouse is called Secret Cove Station. We like it, Luke, said Spike. Come on. We'd best get back to the Dunking Fish Railway. We might work in Luke's father's orchard. Oh yeah, the crops will be ready to be harvested. They all went back to the forest Railway. When they came to the main yard, the engines all said, Prince Shining Armour has just arrived. Hello, gentlemen, said Duncan. Where to give the apples to Chug and Sunshine? Go oh, quick, you don't want Twilight to find you here with some chalk, he told us. Duncan and Luke quickly went away. Look, guys, I think we'd better help them. Oh, yeah, Duke. We best. Um, Shabby Duncan. Oh! Rusty! Shabby. <clears throat> it was a good thing they all met in the forest orchard because Apple Boom showed them a poster. You guys realize what this means? It's Shining Armour's birthday, and we're to have a cabbage cake. We harvested them, so we'll let Sweetabelle make the cake. <coughs> it's a good thing you asked me, gentlemen, because I happen to be a better cook. What's the use of not learning if you can't cook? It's already big, so I'll just send it here. <clears throat> Cake? <clears throat> what about a card? That's to be with the cake. No problem. <clears throat> there, it's ready. Now we're all ready. Hang on. It's tomorrow. I just checked my calendar. Put these away. There. Can't do it today when we haven't planned it. When the cake was put away, they all went to bed. Okay. Now we're to have it in Lauren Beach Cove. Tyre and his friends, I asked, are invited. We'll do it at dawn. Right, right, Duncan. Right, Duncan. They all said, Not too loud. Don't let Twilight and Shining Armour hear us. Cadence has come too, and so is Celestia. Cadence and Celestia. 
Oh, they must not cease in dawn. No problem. I gave them letters. Thanks, Apple Boom. Oh, it's sweet. Don't want to weaken the strength. Little did they know that some of Twilight's friends would notice the odds. <laughs>